Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Testy Makusa and today we are making rasks. If you want to know how it's done, please stick with me to the end of the video. Rask is a hard dry biscuit or a twice baked bread used by Afrikaans people in South Africa as a traditional breakfast. It is also a way of saving or preserving bread by carrying it for a long journey. And sometimes it can also be used as a tether for babies. I don't know if you know what I mean. You know when a baby is teething, you can also use rust for the baby. To my new visitors, if you are watching this video and it's your first time on my channel, you are so welcome. Now guys, I am mixing my wet ingredient into my dry ingredient. I'm gonna pull all my dry ingredients toward the wet ingredient. Try to form a paste in the form of a ball. While doing that in the meantime, I am trying to knead my dough gently. Please look at my hand movement. I am doing it gently. Guys, this is my way of making rusks. When it comes to rusks, personally, I do not over mix the dough. It's entirely up to you how you make uh, rusks with your own recipe. But this is my way and I'm going to advise you not to over mix your dough. And please watch my hand movement as I am mixing my dough. Family, if you are enjoying the video, 
please do me a favor by dropping a comment below if you haven't subscribed please do don't forget to push the bell notification so that you don't miss any uploaded video and i can't wait to see your comment because it keeps me going Guys, rusks may be found all over the world, but they have been South African favorite food or snacks for centuries now. They are twice baked, meaning they are baked first, cut into shapes and placed back in the oven to dry out at a very low heat or temperature. Guys, to ensure doneness of the cake, please insert a skewer or a toothpick in the center of the cake. If it comes out clean or with few crumbs, know that your cake is done. But what I normally do, I'll bake it first. When it's done, I'll take out from the oven, let it cool and rest for about three to four hours. Then, only then, we'll cut into shapes and place back in the oven to dry out. For me, it's just a way, guys, of preventing the crumbling. Because when you take out from the oven, directly you slice it, Ooh, it crumbles a lot. So, I really don't like it. That's why I prefer to cool it first and cut into shapes after. And sometimes I will do it overnight. Remember guys, we cook rusks twice. We bake first and we dry out the second time. So for drying out the second time, it must be on a very low heat or temperature. And the oven door must be ajar, meaning it must be slightly open. Because remember we are drying it out, we're not baking it this time. yes guys thank you so much for watching it's always a pleasure to have you visiting my channel if you haven't subscribed please do don't forget to push the bell notification 
so that you don't miss any uploaded video please don't forget to share and like and drop a comment below for me until we meet next time it's a goodbye for now thank you and god bless bye